Hola, gamers. I've packed up some crap. Some of it's not as packed, because I'm not quite done yet. But I finally have gotten what I would consider gamer edition of my bedroll. It's been a work in progress. As you may have seen in that bonus footage, my previous bedroll was kind of lackluster and cold. Cold, very cold. Didn't warm me up at all. This one combines the older, old western aesthetic of a bedroll with some of the modern technological conveniences me as a modern man has available. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you guys what's in all this later once we get out to the field. Uh, where the field in my yard where I'm going to be uh, running some benchmark tests with this. See how it fares. Um, see if it handles all right. Um, that looks like it's bending, so I'm going to move that slightly. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm dressed. A little while I'm dressed currently, but when I'm wearing clothes to go outside and I'm packing up this array. Hello. Uh, I got my probably, probably close to 50 pounds of gear here. We're hauling it out to the field. This shit is dense. It ain't made for portaging. It, it's a whole base camp kit. Hold up, I got an idea. Here works as good as any. Whew. Pretty cold out. It's not within, or it's within reason. It's not ridiculously cold. But it's, uh, it's chilly. I'm sure it'll warm up as the day goes on. Uh, oops. I'm gonna set my camera up for now. And get to work. I might be stuck. Gloves helped. Gloves really helped. There she is. Now I'm just gonna... So these are the tent stakes I'm using. They come out of a tent bag. They came from a tent that was a uh, old backpacking tent I had. That uh, it didn't, it, it didn't like uh, in the cold, the inside would, you know, it, it, it uh... Keeps coming undone from my stakes. I might need to buy different stakes or bend them later. Bend them might be the right idea. So that's creating an impasse where it can't go any higher than that or put tension on it properly. Hey, but look at that, that's really starting to come along, isn't it? I'll tell you what, really I need to get new stakes anyway. These ones aren't, uh, aren't the best. And that's not bad at all. That would keep off rain or whatever, you know. Uh, Ideally, I'd have something better to tie this off to. It could be potentially valuable 
too. So that you can see my line running kind of far there to formulate my little tent here. Now ideally, I'm missing a stake for that. Now here's the thing. I could rig myself up in between those two trees there and uh, you know, I wouldn't have this nice protection from this tree, but I'd have all the stakes I need and I'd have two lines of access at the same level right in between these two trees and this crook here might be a fun idea. In fact, you know what, I think I'll do that, so I'll catch up back with you when that's done. And we'll probably be on the action camera. Well, I'll use this camera until it dies. And I'll switch over to the action camera. Just to see how long I could last with this. See you then. Alright, so that's it. Right there. Got some of my gear put away. I'm going to start packing stuff up into the bag. Loose gear, whatever came out of the rucksack originally. Worked pretty good. I had a better idea what I was doing this time. Ground over there is way too rough. Even with the good sleeping pads and stuff I have. I wouldn't want to sleep on that, so rope, tree, six tent stakes, fits perfect. I would add two more to that kit, which you can just pick up tent stakes. You, I find lots of them at like places where people have camped previously, you find tent stakes just lying in the ground. I'd add two more to this kit, just so that if you didn't have trees, you could, well really you need the trees because the tent stakes won't give you enough height. Alright, I'm going to start packing up stuff, and I'm going to actually just set this camera here to record me do it. Turn my rucksack into a pillow for later. I'll just hang my coat on it for now. And should have some space for this right in there. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to undo one of our stakes. Fold this up. Make sure nothing's loose here is what I'm wanting. I want the rain to not pool. I don't want the rain to pool here if it did rain. It would snow if it did anything. And I'd have to shake this tent off because that snow would seep in. And If anything, it might make a nice insulation layer. Having snow seep like cover the tent. So, let me give you all the grand tour. I'm gonna keep that axe right there ready. So this is my gear pile. I'm gonna crawl in through this side. See what kind of working space we have here. Definitely enough to lie down in. I don't know how much like living space is in here, but so we might get hung up on the tent slightly. I should have crawled in through the other side, but I didn't feel like moving my sack of shit. I'm going to take my flashlight out of my pocket and just stick it right there inside my cup. It's got a magnet on the back so it just sticks right onto the cup there. If my cup's made out of aluminum or something. Probably stainless steel since it's magnetizable. Oh now look at this. This is real nice. This is just enough space. My feet are hanging out the back right now but that's because I'm in here at a weird angle. So I'm going to get my sleeping pad inflated, uh, so I'll see you again when that's done. 
Oh, it, it'll be real hard to crawl out the back end of this because this back end is lower than the front end because that's how I tied it to give it a sort of angle. Okay. I'm going to get this tied to you. Alright. I'm going to get around to it and start making some lunch. I'm starting to get hungry. I'll show you what I got. got a neat little kit here. I'd love to show you just what my setup is going to be. I see a cinder block over there. Normally I'd use like a rock, but I'm in my yard, so I'll just use a cinder block. Alright. See you in a bit. Alright. So this here is the simpler of my two. I do carry a full pot and pan setup if I ever had a proper campfire, but this is a little, one of my older pieces of kit here is this little folding stove. You see these a lot. And uh, it's real nice. You'll probably see some footage of it that I recorded back at the house. It burns these little solid fuel tablets. Uh, and they, they get burning real hot. Real nice. I got this tin of matches that I bought off Amazon a few years ago. A couple now. Uh, this spork I bought at Walmart. It's convenient. And our choice for today for lunch is Maruchan Brandon Ramen Noodle Chicken Flavor. So I got I got my uh, my little canteen cook pot here. I've never used this before actually. So this will be the first time. And uh, I'm just going to Put some water in it, I guess. Don't worry, I've packed plenty of water, though my house is just down the way. If I was really gonna pack up and go for a long trip, I would be, uh, I'd be right way down, who knows. I, I'd have a, a bigger water canister. Don't worry, I am packing all my trash in and packing it out with me. It's I'm not polluting anything. And I'm just going to break this up. So that it'll fit. If I was using a bigger pot, I wouldn't have to worry about none of this. I'm going to toss in a bit more water. Make sure it all boils up in there nicely. chicken flavoring. In fact, I'll use this package here to store all my garbage. Just toss it all right in there. And then I'm gonna get this match out. Dang, this is a, a thin looking match. This would probably break easy. This is one of the uh, defective ones. You can just eat these raw, by the way. I'm cooking it just to show off my stuff. Okay, it caught. Nice. Turn that away from the wind. Set my cook thing there. I don't have like a lid for this. That's something I plan to buy, is a little lid to put onto this. Usually it's connected to my canteen, so I don't have to, but I don't think about it, but uh. Ideally, and when we're done, these are extra fuel packets. I'm just gonna, I usually keep them on. All right, that's going. These are extra fuel packets. Uh, usually I keep, I have a whole ba a box of them that I bought on Amazon that I keep in my bag. I usually keep four of them in the stove. It folds up and it can hold about four of them, so what I like to do. 
Yeah, this little stove is actually one of my oldest. It it's very nearly my oldest piece of kit that uh, I still carry today. It's uh, I, there was a time back when I was in middle school that I was into collecting survival gear, and I still collect it. I collect it with more purpose now, though. Back then, it was more like I collected it because I was worried about the zombie apocalypse. Because you know, I was eleven. I didn't understand uh, Jack. And uh, these days. These days I collect it because it's cool, and I'm into bushcraft and camping and such. So, it's a neat, neat little thing to spend my time on. I'm going to just go ahead and... You see this thing's starting to get burning pretty bright here, so I'm going to give it a, give the flames a little space to leak out so it don't hit my uh, handle here. Because my handle heats up. <clears throat> I can already see this water is starting to... Uh, Starting to heat up there. Steam is rising off of it already. Yeah, these things burn pretty hot. There's a bird up in the tree. Alright. I'm gonna leave this here to cook. This broth, ramen is another good one, because especially in the cold temperatures, because you can sip that broth after you're done eating. And, uh, you know, it's not very good, because it's just like a b bouillon or whatever it's just flavor packet but uh it'll keep you warm and it's got some nutrients in it if yeah you, you know if i was out uh hunting if i was out doing like a proper hunting trip i and i had like wild game to go off of i'd make a broth from like bone marrow and all that good stuff so that it had a good nutrients to it I'd toss in some wild herbs i have a couple of uh identification books for wild herbs I tend to stick away from mushrooms, so you won't see me doing any mushroom scavenging, but... <sighs> Wild herbs are... a little bit different. I will just take the lid off of my, uh, pot. And use that. It ain't gonna do much. But it'll, uh, it'll help a little bit at least. This might not ever boil, I don't know. But, uh... All right, we can just leave that to boil. We'll come back there in a few. You see my tent has come loose here. Because what I've learned is so convenient about this that I hadn't even thought of is that if you need to access something, you can just unflip it. And then when you need to get back into it, or when you want to cover it back up again, you can uh, just slide it back onto those hooks. And it connects right back up as if it never was even not connected. Good as new, you know. If it were really going heavy, I'd toss my bag further in the tent, uh, further in this. It looks pretty wonky, but it's keeping my gear safe, so I'd toss all that stuff sort of down at my feet, let it become sort of an insulator to block the air from coming in one side. See, and I'll tell you what, the last time I came out here, you saw that bonus footage. I was, uh, I couldn't get that fire going, and that was cold. This it's a mighty nice little hand warmer, you know, you can see that fuel in there starting to burn down since it's really, they're really only good for about one use of boiling your food and cooking it. But, uh, it's still giving off, you know, it's definitely putting heat out into this because it's starting to boil. But, uh, you know, it's putting out a little bit of heat on the sides here that I can warm up with. Warm my fingers up just a touch, even stick them in there if I want to burn my hands. But, uh, yeah. This is, this is always a plus, always a nice thing to bring because I can't, I'm not skilled enough or experienced enough to be able to consistently start a fire, so being able to cook my lunch and still heat myself up uh, easily like this is always a plus. I'm probably going to pick up, first off, I don't have a solar charger right now. Um, I'm ordering one on Amazon, a nice good one that is a, a real good one. And uh, so that'll, that's a good thing to come, but um, yeah, you can see this thing's kicking out flames. Uh... I'm also ordering, probably going to order another pack of these, another box, because I still have quite a few, but uh, I think during the coming year I'm going to be using this little stove a lot. The sun's starting to hit me up nice. I might kick my gloves on later just because my fingers are a little cold, but it's not too bad out right now. I can see my breath frozen on the air though, so it certainly is cold. Alright, 
I'll see you guys in a bit. Later, whenever this is done. Food's ready. Looks great. I'm gonna eat. I'm also gonna use my pot as a little bit of a hand warmer. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit too hot to hold right now, but as it starts to cool down, I can uh, hold it with my hands instead of with the handle. And, uh, A little undercooked. It probably would have been better if I boiled the water ahead of time and then put the noodles in after the water was already boiling. They would have cooked a little bit better because I think the water boiled slower because I um, had the noodles in it. They absorbed some of the heat that would have gone towards the uh, water boiling faster. Yeah, this is good. This is, this is pretty good on its own. You know, it's not as good as it could have been. But, you know, it's not as good as the ramen noodles I made in uh, day one, of course. But as far as camping food goes, it's not bad. And this pot is burning my hands a little bit. But if I keep shifting my hands like I have been, uh, it's actually warming up real nice. So, that's... Uh, Something to be thankful for. Warm hands. Which, let me tell you, a second pair of jeans. Jeans are not good insulators. Wear long underwear. I had a shitty pair from Walmart. I'm gonna actually invest in a nice pair of long underwear. I think it'd be a good, a good investment because, yikes, it gets so cold out here. All right, I'm gonna sit this. I'm gonna sit here and sip this for a while till it's gone, and then uh, go ahead and hunker down in my tent for a while. I'll catch you on the flip. Look at that. Cool as hell. That's a cool view too. I hung my uh, pot there so that it could sort of be out of the way. See like my gun and my hat. This feels like a proper cowboy place here now. Got my lantern up there, or my flashlight up there. This is a proper, a real proper little cowboy camp. My bedroll is comfortable. My feet aren't even cold, which is awesome. This this bedroll is comfortable. Uh, the inflatable sleeping pad inflated properly. The wool blanket under it is there as well. So if it really got cold, I could always whip that wool blanket out and uh, line my sleeping bag with it. Uh, so that I have even more warmth. This is great. This is really turned out. This is what I wanted when I thought about making a bedroll originally. This is what my mind, this was the idea in my mind and it didn't work the first time I tried, but really, I mean, it's not a traditional bedroll because that's just kind of like a sleeping bag, but it's what I wanted, which was a good, comfortable ground pad and, uh, you know, a, a comfortable place to sleep and keep me warm that I could roll up, warm and dry, that I could roll up and uh, belt it shut, just carry it with me. Now originally I wanted something a lot smaller, but what I have fits perfectly into that rucksack, so. Shit. <coughs> a real stars aligned. <coughs> a real stars aligned kind of moment there, so I'm not gonna question it. I'm probably gonna head to sleep here. I do have two roll, two whole rolls of toilet paper uh, squished and sealed inside of a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, in my backpack. So, if I do need to go to the bathroom or blow my nose real bad later, I am able to do so. I like my cup. 
clipped there. I'm probably not going to use that cup too often, considering I have the canteen pot right there that acts as a good cup. That's my cup, you know? If I ever get into, like, tea, I drink tea out of it. Maybe hot cocoa? I do cocoa. I do cocoa. Alright. Ah, man, this tarp is, like, reflecting heat as well, which is making it warmer in here. This is, this is really nice. This is a good, this is a good, this was a good investment. No idea how waterproof this tent is, or this tarp is. Uh, <laughs> it said it was good for, like, a ground pad, or for, like, a, um, even use it as a shelter, which is what I've done. But shit, dude, I don't know. We'll see. I doubt it'll snow tonight, or rain, so that's good. Alright, I'll see ya. Hello all, it is considerably earlier than I would have liked to have woken up. Uh, but, I'm ready to go in. It's gonna be night soon, and I just don't really want to be out here at night. Uh, it handled the morning cold perfectly, you know. If I, uh, lined it with that wool blanket, it would easily be warm enough. I just don't see any reason why it wouldn't hold up the cold. So right now I'm just going through, checking things out, wrapping shit up. What I did is I just unpegged the tent, the tarp, and slid it back, and uh, packed up, moved all my stuff out from the sides, and now I'm going to just untie this end over here. I didn't even really tie a knot for this side over here, so should just be able to uh, have it come loose. And then, uh, you know what? I'm gonna set this camera up right here where my hat is.
been carrying this crap because it was doing a number on my fingers. Yeah, well, I got gloves on now and it's a whole lot better. Bike isn't on. So. What a shame. Hi, buddy. Hey, boys. I missed you. I'm gone all day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Um, I'm home now. Only one here right now, really, but... That don't matter. Uh, other people come back eventually. They'll see my stuff here so they know they weren't burglarized. It's just me coming home. <sighs> Not a bad haul. I think, really, if I was just going to do overnights, I would pack that and a much lighter bag with just, like, my hatchet, canteen... And that little stove. Since, uh, you know, whatever I used on this trip is all I would bring for an overnight. <clears throat> there were a few things that I noticed that I ended up using and making advantage of because this was my yard. Um, so, like, I used that concrete brick and I used that post to tie my tent. But those are things that easily have substitutes in nature, like just two trees and a rock. Other than that, I didn't take advantage of much uh, relating to my yard. Uh, I'll see you in the sky.